ओके ये स्टू ये कहने ये टैनी को ये चिमा के दैट्स इन माय बिकने लैंग्वेज आई सेड हेलो ओके ये स्टू आई एम बिकने और ब्लैकफीट इन इंग्लिश देन आई सेड my name is stabbed down that name was given to me uh, my great grandfather's great great grandfather's name my uh, english name or is is donald pepian i'm going to be visiting with you uh, at the at the academy down there i'm going to be talking about contemporary native americans the subjects will include of course the demographics uh, who are the native americans in this country how many of them are there where are they located uh, those kinds of things uh, then we will talk about some of the contemporary issues uh, of course we have to sort of set that up and say who or what is an an indian uh, we have these terms native american uh, First Nations, American Indian, uh, gee, what do we call these folks? So we'll, we'll talk about that uh, a bit, and we'll also talk about how some of what we call federally recognized tribes came about. Uh, some tribes uh, have re Indian reservations, uh, some don't, but the ones that have reservations do have a legal relationship. Well, of course, some that don't have reservations also have a legal relationship with United States government. How did that come about? How did this idea of uh, sovereign nations within a nation of the United States come about? So we'll be speaking to that, uh, that 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 kind of kind of issue, so people understand a little bit about what we call federal Indian policy, so we can understand how this legal relationship developed through uh, Justice Marshall in the 1830s. Uh, three court cases and we're not going to bore you with the court cases but we're going to basically just tell you how uh, the definition of, uh, of uh, Indian came came about in this legal relationship uh, then we will talk about some of the issues certainly people want to know about uh, about gaming uh, we'll talk about a, a law that we call NAGPRA, Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act that provided for tribes in 1990 to start getting some of their sacred articles back from different museums and and depository. Uh, we'll mention the Indian Religious Freedom Act uh, 1978. Prior to that, Native Americans were suppressed from having, practicing their spiritual spiritual ways uh, so we'll be mentioning a few of uh, of those kinds of things and then we're going to talk uh, about some tribes specifically so we can get a look at some of the culture more intimately such as the Iroquois uh, I, I like to talk about them because uh, they have a, a clearly identified uh, social organization as we call it uh, and maybe one other tribe then we're going to look at uh, uh, native americans in the southwest uh, rich cultural history uh, uh, talk about the pueblos talk about the Dene, Dene the or navajo talk about the the apache and uh, again maybe look more intimately at a couple of those groups uh, uh, such as the Hopi or maybe uh, another one. Uh, so that's the, the general plan we have right now in visiting with you.